Something magic happens Every time you go You make the magic happen The magic of Orioles baseball Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? Autographs 2000 here And in today's video I've got four autographs through the mail TTMs and I am also going to submit my YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame Ballot. The YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame Ballot. Um, you have to be creating content for at least one year to vote. And you have to be creating content for at least three years to be eligible. So I'll, you, can, um, you can nominate up to 10 channels. And the five top channels get inducted each year so i'll open up a ttm give a couple um of my nominations and we'll keep going like that all right our first return is from phoenix arizona and we have got frank duffy he signed three of three in eight days. He had a career batting average of 232 with 26 home runs, 240 RBIs. He played 10 years, appeared in 915 games. He played from 70 to 79. He played with Cincinnati, San Francisco, Cleveland, Boston. Um, his best year was in 1973. When he hit eight home runs, knocked in 50, and batted 263. Now, the thing about Frank Duffy is he has been, in 1971, he was involved in two very lopsided trades. The first one, he was traded for George Foster. That was from uh, Cincinnati to San Francisco. And then seven months later, he was traded to Cleveland along with Gerald, or um, along with Gaylord Perry for Sam McDowell. So, two lopsided trades, and Frank Duffy was on he was on the, the wrong end the first time and the better end the second time. So, all right, now I'm going to give you I'm going to give you three of my nominations. Um, I have ten that I'm going to nominate. And I'm going to give them to you in the order of years I've been doing uh, YouTube videos. So my first one, I want, I want my, my first nomination is the Aranya Boys. He has got 1.58 um, thousand subscribers. He has put, put out 686 videos. And he has been putting out YouTube videos for three years. All right, my second nomination is Reindeer Studios. He has 1.27 subscribers. He has made 324 videos. He has also been putting videos out for three years. My third nomination, Eddie's cardboard chaos he has 658 subscribers he has put out an even 600 videos and he has been putting out videos for three years and before i get to the next for my second return the purpose of the sports card hall of fame ballot or the hall of fame is to get people's names out there for pe more people to check them out, check up, check out their content, you know, broaden your horizon to other other uh, channels. So, so I hope that you guys will check out all ten of these guys' channels. If you're not already subscribed to them, check them out, and I hope you like them. All right, our second return is from Santa Ana, California. We have got Dennis Lamp. He signed four of four in 18 days. He had a career record of 96 and 96 with a 3.93 ERA. 
He played 16 years, appeared in 639 games. He played from 77 to 92. And he played with the Cubs, White Sox, Blue Jays, A's, Red Sox, and Pirates. His best year was in 1985 when he went 11 and 0 with a 3.32 ERA. And he finished 21st in the MVP voting that year. Again, that is Dennis Lamp. All right, back to the nominations. Our fourth nomination is Fox Crew Cards. He has 453 subscribers. He has posted 463 videos. And he has been putting out YouTube videos for four years. Nomination number five. Caleb's cards, TTM, autographs, and more. He has 1.29 thousand subscribers. He has put out 1.5 1 or 1,500 videos. And he has been uh, creating content for five years. All right, our, our sixth nomination, Brandon Stebbins. He has 1.05 subscribers. He has posted 937 videos. And he has been putting out videos for six years. Our seventh nomination is Michael Myers. He has 1.17 thousand subscribers. He has put out 867 videos. And he has been posting content for seven years. All right. Our third return is from San Diego, California. And we have got Merv Rettmund. He signed three of three in 11 days. He had a career batting average of 271 with 66 home runs, 329 RBIs. He played 13 years. He appeared in 1,023 games. He played from 68 to 80. He played with Baltimore, Cincinnati, San Diego, and California. His best year was in 1971 when he hit 11 home runs, knocked in 75, batted 318, and he also stole 15 bags that year. And he finished 19th in the MVP voting. He also won two World Series as a player. He won one in 1970 with the Orioles, and then another in 75 with the Big Red Machine, the Cincinnati Reds. All right, our last three nominations. Nomination number eight, Picker Jim S. Sports Card. Sports Card Collector. He has 1.07 thousand subscribers. He has put out 275 videos and he has been placing, he has been doing content for nine years. Nomination number nine, TB's TTM autographs. He has 508 subscribers. He has posted 741 videos. And his first video was, was 10 years ago. And then our last nomination, last but certainly not least, is BD Kane 721. He has 824 um, subscribers. He has posted 670 videos. And his first video was 11 years ago. All right, so again, I hope you guys check out all 10 of these guys. I, for one, am a big um, supporter of all these guys, big fan of, God, of all of them. I watch every video that these guys put out, and I just, I just like their content. I like, I like the people that do these channels, 
and I like their content, and it is my honor and privilege to, to nominate those 10 channels. And good luck to all 10 of them. Only five can make it. Hopefully to be hopefully to be my five. All right. Our last returns from San Diego, California. And we have got Jesse Orozco. He signed two of two in eight days. He had a career back our career record of 87 and 80 with a 3.16 ERA. He also had 144 saves. He played 12 or 24 years. He appeared in a MLB record 1,252 games. He played from 79 to 03. And he played with Mets, Dodgers, Indians, Brewers, Orioles, Cardinals, Padres, Yankees, and Twins. He is a two time All Star. He was an All Star in 83 and 84. And during those two years, 83 and 84, he had, a com he had a combined 23 wins and 48 saves in two years. That was, I thought that was pretty impressive stats right there for a two-year span for a relief pitcher. And he was a loogie. Well, I mean, he, was, he became more of a loogie in his, in his uh, last years. But that, guys, is going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, good luck to everyone um, in the Hall of Fame balloting. Um, if you did like this video, please smash that like button. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And until next time, guys, Autographs 2000 is out.